There was a service in Hong Kong last week. 12,000 mourners, many of them weeping teenagers, jammed police barricades. Today's service was much quieter. The guests were admitted by invitation only, and there were only 200 of those sent out. A few fans without invitations showed up at the door, but they were quietly turned away. They waited in small clusters down the block. The invited guests were a mixture of Seattle's Chinese community and Hollywood. Both worlds were familiar to Lee. The leaders of the Hollywood contingent were Steve McQueen and James Coburn, Lee taught both men his special version of the martial arts at his school in Los Angeles. Thank you. May peace be with you. Within days, more than 20,000 mourners crowded the streets of Hong Kong to pay their respects to the fallen superstar. Following a memorial service, his body was taken to Seattle, where Bruce and his wife had met and fallen in love. Among those at the funeral were close friends James Coburn and Steve McQueen, who served as pallbearers. At the age of only 32, Bruce Lee had left behind a wife two children, and an unrivaled legacy in the world of entertainment and martial arts. But ironically, it would be the films in which he didn't appear where his legend would live on. Linda Lee Catwell, born Linda Emery, is the widow of martial arts legend Bruce Lee. She was born on March 21, 1945, in Everett, Washington, United States, Linda met Bruce Lee while they were both attending the University of Washington in Seattle. They got married on August 17, 1964. Linda Lee Cadwell played a significant role in Bruce Lee's life and career. She supported him in his pursuit of martial arts and acted as a partner in his training and development. Linda also played a crucial role in managing Bruce's career, helping him establish his martial arts schools and promoting his teachings. Together, Bruce and Linda had two children, Brandon Lee, born in 1965, and Shannon Lee, born in 1969, after Bruce Lee's untimely death in 1973. Linda focused on raising their children and preserving Bruce's legacy. Linda Lee Cadwell wrote a memoir titled Bruce Lee, The Man Only I Knew, published in 1975. The book provided insights into Bruce's personal life and their relationship, as well as shedding light on his philosophy and approach to martial arts. Throughout her life, Linda Lee Cadwell has been actively involved in preserving and promoting Bruce Lee's legacy. She has been a consultant on numerous books, documentaries, and projects related to Bruce Lee's life and teachings. Linda has also been involved in the operation and management of the Bruce Lee Foundation, which aims to preserve and perpetuate Bruce Lee's teachings and philosophies. Linda Lee Cadwell continues to be an important figure in the martial arts community and an ambassador for Bruce Lee's legacy. Her dedication to honoring her late husband's memory and spreading his message of self-expression and personal growth has inspired countless individuals around an American actor and martial artist. He was born on February 1, 1965 in Oakland, California, United States. 
and was the son of martial arts legend Bruce Lee and his wife, Linda Lee Catwell. Following in his father's footsteps, Brandon Lee trained in martial arts from a young age. He studied various disciplines, including Jeet Kune Do, the martial arts philosophy and fighting style developed by his father. Brandon also trained in Taekwondo and kickboxing. Brandon Lee's acting career began in the 1980s. He appeared in several television series, including Kung Fu, the movie 1986, and O'Hara, 1987-1988. However, his breakthrough role came in the 1990, the film The Crow, based on the comic book of the same name. Brandon portrayed the lead character, Eric Draven, in what would tragically be his final film. During the filming of The Crow, Brandon Lee suffered a fatal accident on March 31, 1993. A prop gun that was supposed to fire blanks ended up firing a projectile that struck Brandon causing a fatal injury. The incident shocked the entertainment industry and fans worldwide, leading to increased safety measures on film sets involving firearms. Despite his untimely death, Brandon Lee's performance in The Crow received critical acclaim and garnered a significant following. The film was released posthumously in 1994 and became a cult classic, solidifying Brandon's place in cinematic history. Brandon Lee's legacy lives on through his work in The Crow and his impact on the martial arts and film communities. He is remembered for his talent, charisma, and the potential he displayed as an actor his tragic passing serves as a reminder of the importance of safety in the film. Brandon Lee Indus is an American actress, martial artist, and businesswoman. She was born on April 19, 1969, in Los Angeles, California, United States. Shannon Lee is the daughter of martial arts legend Bruce Lee and his wife, Linda Lee Catwell. Following in her father's footsteps, Shannon Lee has been involved in the martial arts industry for many years. She holds a black belt in Jeet Kune Do, the martial arts philosophy and fighting style developed by her father. Shannon has also trained in various other martial arts disciplines, including Taekwondo, and Brazilian J-I-U-J-I-T-S-U dot in addition to her martial arts background. Shannon Lee has pursued a career in acting. She has appeared in several films and television shows, including Enter the Eagles 1998 and And Now You're Dead 2013. Shannon has also worked as a producer and executive producer on projects related to her father's legacy, such as the documentary series The Legend of Bruce Lee 208 and the biographical film Birth of the Dragon 2016. Shannon Lee is actively involved in preserving and promoting her father's legacy. She is the CEO of the Bruce Lee Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to sharing Bruce Lee's philosophies and promoting his teachings on martial arts, self-expression, and personal development. Furthermore, Shannon Lee has been instrumental in the development of the Cinemax series Warrior based on an original concept by Bruce Lee, 
The show premiered in 2019 and has gained critical acclaim for its martial arts, action, and storytelling. Furthermore, Shannon Lee has been instrumental in the development of the Cinemax series Warrior, based on an original concept by Bruce Lee. The show premiered in 2019 and has gained critical acclaim for its martial arts, action, and storytelling.